yo, what's up, guys? Uh, it's about time I made a video showing up this plugin because it's been out for like two months or something on Patreon, and a lot of you guys over here haven't even seen it yet. You don't even know this thing exists. So I thought it's time to make like a little intro YouTube video to show this plugin off, show the controls, whatever, maybe a couple examples of how to use this thing. And yeah, so this is a, a vector scope and a stereo shaper. It's a two in one plugin. Okay, you got your, your stereo controls, delays, left and right delays. You got filters, left and right, both channels. You got up here, there's uh, saturation for with a bunch of different types, mid and side saturation, a width slider for some depth, and then mid and side gains, whatever these meters left and right and then the ones on the inside are mid inside meters okay then at the bottom there's a bunch of different controls for your vector scope and your effects input output pan a feedback for the delay a pass through button which allows the dry signal to pass through and combine with the wet so you can like filter and combine it with the dry signal i'll show you how that works later there are different filter types a delay mix okay and then there's the vector scope controls and i'll show you quick with a track these things do okay so yeah all that plus it has its own uh dedicated vector scope mode so say you don't want a, a stereo plugin don't worry you got a vector scope and you can use that to monitor and stuff. Oh, also, there's all these controls here are um, for left, right, and mid side mode. So you can have uh, delays for your side signal, you know, filters for your mid side signal. There's also presets. You can save and load presets with this thing. And I've added resizable GY. This is the first time one of my plugins have had that. Okay, so yeah, that's what this thing does. And I was thinking maybe to add some samples, like some vocals or something to show you guys how you can use this thing as a utility and maybe a couple ways to use it as a creative plugin as well because this thing is, a, you can do it all, right? So I'll be right back. Okay, I've added some samples in, some mono samples because I'm going to show you guys a quick way to add like a pseudo stereo sound with a couple, with a couple knobs on this thing, okay? So this is a mono signal add on complete and we can add some depth by adding a little bit of delay to the to one of the channels or even some all pass to, to one of the channels but the Haas effect is adding a short delay to one of the channels around 30 milliseconds or under because after that then it turns into more of like an audible delay that you can hear but let's say around 30 milliseconds you can hear this will have like a, a pseudo stereo sound from a mono signal to something that sounds stereo. Add on complete. Okay. This is without it. Add on complete. Okay. So that's a quick way to add a stick, like some depth to a mono signal. You can also do the same sort of with a, a little bit of an all pass on one channel. Add on complete. All right. You can also use this thing as a creative effect and add like really long delays and filter out some of the signal to get like sort of a reverb sound and i can show you a quick way to do that so that's what this pass through button comes in handy for so let's add like two pretty long delays for both channels and hit the pass through button so the dry signal will play along with the wet signal add on complete so with that we can now filter out some of the wet so let's say we want to take out the the lows and just have like a long reverby delay sound with the with just the wet signal add on complete and then, oh, add and then just add feedback add on complete our allies base is under attack our allies are being attacked so there's a lot you can do with that also you can even put in some saturation add on complete our allies base is under attack our allies are being attacked base is under attack unacceptable build location okay so yeah this thing could also be used as a cool little creative effect too all right i'm gonna wrap it up there i think that's that for this intro 
there's a bunch of stuff you guys can do with this plugin. A quick way to widen up your sound, add some depth. You know, you can uh, get rid of the low end of the side signal. You can even use this thing as a comb filter if you want. Okay, so for now it's on Patreon. And uh, the plan is to finish this thing up and release it for free. So once it's done, I should have that out on the site. And as of recording this, it's March 14th. So happy Pi Day. Shout out to all you nerds out there. I know there's a bunch of you nerds, okay? Shout out Stack Overflow. I just finished my website. I remade that thing. It's looking pretty good right now. So you guys can go check that thing out. Hopefully once this thing's done, there'll be a download link on there. And yeah, I'm going to get out of here. So if you guys like this plugin, let me know. And uh, goodbye.